right. You know him as the Academy Award winning actor who first gained notice for his supporting performance in the coming of age comedy Dazed and Confused, and eventually went on to win an Academy Award for Best Actor in the Dallas Buyers Club. It's Matthew McConaughey. Growing up in Texas, the youngest of three boys, Matthew McConaughey was known for his good looks and charm. His acting career began with TV commercials, B movies, and low budget independent films. <laughs> wow, set up. However, after a few breaks, he began tearing it up in romantic comedies. The one night that we even thought about getting close to having sex, all right, she up and decides she's going to nickname my... Penis. Yeah. Princess Sophia. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Matthew McConaughey has an estimated net worth of $60 million and is one of Hollywood's most popular leading men who have played amazingly well in romantic comedies. I cannot stress enough how good a Matthew McConaughey rom-com is. However, his more recent movies, Dallas Buyers Club, where he lost 30 pounds for the role. Let me give you a little news flash. There ain't nothing out there can kill Ron Woodruff in 30 days. And The Wolf of Wall Street were the film that turned him from a lead actor in romantic comedies to an established actor. Or whatever it is we look up to, Whatever it is we look forward to and whoever it is we're chasing, to that I say amen. To that I say all right, all right, all right. <laughs> While lighting it up in Hollywood, Matthew met Camilla Ives in 2006 and the two became engaged in 2011 and married in 2012 and have three lovely children. Matthew is a huge Texas Longhorns fan. He's a majority owner for Austin Football Club, so it only makes sense that proud Texan and his family reside in, you guessed it, Austin, Texas. What's going on guys, it's your boy Marlon Palmer here with another house tour for you guys on Famous Entertainment. Now I notice a lot of you guys are watching and not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. In this one, we'll take a look at Matthew McConaughey and a few mansions he's called home over the years. If you guys like these videos, please hit that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Tony Braxton, Keith Urban, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram at daddoomitfly and let me know whose house tour you'd like to see next in the comments down below. Let's get into the video. Now many wouldn't guess that one of Matthew McConaughey's homes is a customized Airstream trailer, which he keeps in Malibu. It allows the actor to take all the comforts of the home on the road. You know, nice and in line, but it's, you can take them anywhere. I've traveled all over I've uh, been to 49 states of mine. Stayed in 49 states. The only wow. thing I missed was North Dakota. In 1996, Matthew got a big GMC van called Cosmo and completely gutted it and adding a bed in the back, a refrigerator and VCR so he could catch a flick or whatever. He claims it was a pretty cramped style, so he started looking at Airstreams. Matthew claims that the Airstreams rounded body is a beautiful piece of art and aerodynamically very functional. After four years ago falling hard for a 2004 Airstream International CCD 28, the 28 feet encompassing a living area came with a bed and a dining table desk, a streamlined kitchen, a toilet, and shower, and a snug bedroom that the actor refers to as the honeycomb on account of its round ceiling and golden hues. Matthew claims it's got a great window right above your pillow, so when you wake up in the morning, you're looking right at the ocean or wherever your backyard is that day. McConaughey named his Airstream the canoe, and he's pimped up the canoe with a satellite dish on the roof, a barbecue in the back, book racks, and a ceiling netting to hold travel literature, journals, and scripts, and a custom banquet and table to accommodate the actor's six foot frame. Home the base for the canoe is a recreational vehicle park in Malibu, neighboring a prime surfing spot, but the trailer has served McConaughey as everything from his digs to his wheels to his office. For now, he regards the RV park as a little vacation spot. Meanwhile, McConaughey has ordered two new Airstreams, a 30-footer and a 25-foot teepee. In fact, the actor envisions owning an entire fleet of trailers. According to property records, McConaughey recently sold their longtime Malibu home for a nice chunk of change, clearing nearly $14.8 million. The deal closed in mid-July and the spend buyer is Oscar winning film director, writer, animator, producer, Phil Lord McConaughey, acquired the landlocked Point Doom estate way back in 2007 for just over $10 million, according to previous reports, later altering it in the form of an extensive remodel. While most of the current specifications are unknown, tax records say that 1.5 acre property includes a house with four bedrooms and three bathrooms in a 3,800 square feet. Aerial imagery confirms the deep and heavily wooded lot is secured by towering walls and gates and includes a lengthy driveway that wanders to the house set far back from the public road out front. The property also transferred with one of 
of Malibu's most sought after amenities, a beach key with access to gated Little Doom Beach, the all but private celebrity gateway that lies below the nearly sheer cliffs of the Point Doom neighborhood. However, McConaughey 50 doesn't appear to be leaving Malibu altogether. As he discussed, he continues to maintain a fleet of Airstream trailers that he uses for everything from his temporary digs to his LA office. The star additionally owns a 10,000 square foot mansion in his longtime home of Austin, Texas. McConaughey's Austin, Texas mansion features seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 10,000 square feet. The estimated value today is 6.2 million and has an estimated mortgage of 29.6 thousand. The listing is described as a spectacular old oak estate. This magnificent Spanish Mediterranean estate is built on a sprawling 8.75 acre park with breathtaking views of Lake Austin and located just 20 minutes from downtown. It is convenient to shopping and within walking distance to the area's finest public and private schools. Fashioned in the style of the famous early 20th century Palm Beach architect Addison Meisner, this three-story 10,800 square foot seven bedroom and showpiece was completed in 1997 after four years of German engineering by builder craftsman Bob Flug. The splendor of the home is surpassed only by the natural beauty of its park-like setting with walking trails and native wildlife. The estate was named Old Oak after the once imposing double trunk century old Texas live oak, which stood tall and strong among the hundreds of other trees on the property. Outdoor enthusiasts will enjoy the estate's seven consecutive boat spaces at the bottom of the hill. There are no city taxes or homeowner association restrictions and the hill country sunsets are free. Being born and raised in Texas, it was expected that he'll be nesting near his birthplace, so in 2012, he acquired the 10,000 square foot mansion near Austin. The nine acre estate also holds a well-equipped two island kitchen, a guest house, an impressive courtyard with several terraces, a water fountain and seven boat slips near the lake. One elevator, a long oak tree shaded gated drive with two circular motor courts, garaging for at least four cars, and for water enthusiasts, seven consecutive boat slips down the hill to the lake. Inside, the Texas influences are evident in the rich wood details, marble counters, spiral staircase, case and beige tiled floor. The spacious living spaces are designed with elegance and luxury in mind. Besides this mansion, Matthew, in addition to their new spread in Austin, also maintains a newly and completely remodeled residence in the Point Doom area of Malibu, California, like most of the celebrities. And that's all I've got for Matthew McConaughey and where he calls home. After looking at a few of his properties past and present, what'd you guys think? Be sure to rate his homes in the comments down below. I gotta say living in an Airstream would be kinda cool. I'm not I'm not gonna do it myself. You guys let me know what that's like. Follow me on Instagram at that McFly and let me know who you guys would like to see me do a house tour on next in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next video.